I'm gonna talk about some things that I find, personally, I still find painful. See, it's kind of difficult for me to talk about because my childhood necessarily wasn't the best childhood. You know, I was in my own prison. I broke my leg in three or four places. He was diagnosed in October as having osteogenic sarcoma. We didn't know what that surgery would mean. I woke up as an eight-year-old missing his leg. It was definitely fate. I believe that led me to the House of Truth Wrestling Academy. But in, in my heart, I knew that this is exactly what I was born to do. I finally found a place that accepted me. It was the most euphoric feeling I've ever had in my life. And here's why I finally let him and I go, listen, the WWE is gonna call you. I was completely overwhelmed. This guy has a definite future in his business, but I get to being a Piper's Pit, I get to go to the ring with, with Hulk Hogan, wrestling the big show, working with Brock Lesnar, to be in the ring with Vince, like this is totally insane to me. Nine months before that, he was just a fan. Nine months later, he's in the ring with Hulk Hogan. You can see this attitude change. He definitely got an ego. I rebelled and I acted out. People didn't want to be put in matches with him. Zach had so much heat. It looked like he was getting the living hell beat out of him. And that it was better that he leave or they're gonna end up killing him. It definitely changed Zach when he got released. The drugs and alcohol become my answer to all of that. It just started going way, 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 way down after that. Zach's drug use was out of hand. I feared for Zach's life many times. I used to have dreams that he the closest I've seen to a human being I would be. The guy has a gun to my head. He went through a dark time in his life, and uh, sometimes people need to do that to learn how to live. He's been through hell and back. That's the important part, he's back. Zach's legacy can be anything he wants it to be. It's a journey unlike anybody's story I've ever heard in my life. And I, want, I would want people to know the entire Zach Allen story and then, then judge that.